wrong road. Thomas's branch line is important, and so is Edward's. They both bring in valuable traffic, but their track and bridges are not as strong as those on the main line. The Fat Controller does not allow heavier mainline engines such as Gordon and Henry to run on them. If, however, you heard Gordon talking to Edward a short while ago, you would have thought the Fat Controller had forbidden him to run on branch lines for quite another reason. It's not fair, grumbled Gordon. What isn't fair? asked Edward. Letting branch line diesels pull mainline trains. Never mind, Gordon. I'm sure Boko will let you pull his truck sometimes. That would be that would make it quite fair. Gordon spluttered furiously. I won't pull Boko's dirty trucks. I won't run on branch lines. Why not? It would be a nice change. The fat controller would never approve, said Gordon loftily. Branch lines are vulgar. He puffed away in a dignified way. Edward chuckled and followed him to the station. Gordon, his driver, and his fireman all say it was the lady's fault. She wore a green floppy hat and was saying to a goodbye to a friend who was sitting in the nearest coach to the guards van. It was almost time to the start. The fireman looked back. He was new to the job. He couldn't see the guard, but he knew he'd seen something waving that was green. He thought it was the flag. Right away, mate, he called, but the guard was not waving his flag. When Gordon started to leave, he left some luggage and seven, several indignant passengers and the guard waiting on the platform. Every evening, two fast trains leave the big station. Within five minutes, the 625 is Gordon's big main line express. Edwards is at 6.30, which runs along the branch line. By the time Gordon had been brought back, Edwards' train was overdue. You've missed your path, Gordon, said the fat controller crossway. We must now clear the path for Edward's train before you can start. This could have been put right with the least possible trouble, but control at the big station made things worse. They forgot to warn the signalman at Edward's junction about the change of plans. It was dark by the time that the trains reached the junction. You can obviously guess what happens next. Edward went through on the main line while Gordon was switched onto the branch. It took the fat controller several hours to sort out the tangle and pacify the passengers. In the end, Gordon was left with his fire drawn, cold and cross, in one of Edward's sidings. Bill and Ben peeped into the yard next morning. They wondered if Boko had brought them some trucks. There were no trucks. But they didn't mind. Teasing Gordon, they thought, would be much better. What's that? asked Bill loudly. Shh, whispered Ben. It's Gordon. It looks like Gordon, but it can't be Gordon. Gordon never comes on branch lines. He thinks they're vulgar. Gordon pretended he hadn't heard. If it is Gordon, said Ben, it's just a pile of old iron, which we'd better take to the scrapyard. No, Bill. It's lots of useless scrap. We'll take it to the harbour and dump it in the sea. Gordon was alarmed. I am Gordon. Stop, stop. The twins paid no attention. Gordon shut his eyes and prepared for the worst. The twins argued loud and long. Bill favoured the scrapyard, while Ben said that cutting things up in such a place was something that was cruel. It would be kinder, he urged, to give these remains a quick end in the sea. Besides, he went on, they would make a lovely splash. Gordon could not view either prospect with any enthusiasm. Up, up to that time, they, he had disapproved of diesels. They were considered ugly, smelly, and noisy. But when he opened his eyes and saw a boatman coming into the yard, he thought he'd never seen such a beautiful sight. Boko, my dear engine, he gasped. Save me! And Boko quickly sized up the situation and sent Bill and Ben about their business. They were cheeky at, the, at first, but Boko threatened them to take away their trucks of coal that he had brought them. That made them behave on the spot. Gordon thought he was wonderful. Those little devils, he said. How would you do it? Ah well, said Boko, it's just a knack. Gordon thinks to this day that Boko saved his life, but we know that he that the twins are only teasing, don't we?